What's going on guys, Tom here. So Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising is finally out. So I'm someone that really, really liked the first game, but just could not get as into it as I wanted to just because the online was ass. But the characters are cool, the gameplay is cool, the story mode was a lot of fun. There's a lot to like about this game, and it just could not take off because of its horrible online. So with Rising, we get a few new characters, we get rollback, we get crossplay, we get everything this game needs to succeed. So I really hope it does. So guys, if you want to see more Grand Blue Rising uh, content, drop a comment below letting me know. Uh, maybe I'll add it to the stream rotation with Strive and Mortal Kombat. But the stream a little more, by the way, so look forward to a ton more streams coming up of just hanging out. Um, but yeah, what we're doing today is the obvious. We are ranking every single Super Skybound Dart in this game. And I saw Max just did a video on it. He beat me to it. Hopefully you guys still enjoy this one anyway, even if you already saw his. If not, that's A-OK. -okay. But guys, let's just get into it. Because these super attacks in this game are some of the coolest I have ever seen. Okay, so I've got no idea what this character does. We're going to find out. Okie dokie. She made her into a golden statue of herself the ultimate insult and then she sits on a throne of the golden statue of herself oh that's actually not too bad so i think that one was fun enough to put it in b tier but doesn't do anything too too insane to push it above that but isn't offensive to push it below that and the outro screen from ending around on it actually added a lot to it so that's that b tier all right uh zeta so zeta basically is gonna just shoot a giant kamehameha at her that's right, put her in the cube, big ass Kamehameha Blast, and then just push even further beyond, like, Gohan. Honestly, this was a vanilla one from the game, like, base game, but it's actually really good. The hair comes down during the outro animation, we get the nice pose. I think that one's actually pretty damn good. So Zeta, I'm gonna put in A tier, actually. I think that's actually really solid. Percival, uh, this is a character I actually thought I was gonna main when the game first came out. He's a lot of fun. He's basically just a flame swordsman from Yu-Gi-Oh. One of the more simple ones. Little tornado, good end pose, and then the victory screen. Because this game, the way this works, if you end with a super, you get a unique outro. The unique outros are kind of half bit. They're important. B tier. That's a B tier, for sure. All right, Loane. Uh, I remember his was really, really annoying because he summons this goddess. And then the goddess is just basically a character you can play as for a minute. So, in context, this is actually one of the cooler supers. But I don't think you get like a unique outro. Oh, you do get a unique outro for it. And they were dreaming the whole time. That's the unique outro. In game, it used to be really, really annoying to deal with when people just did this online. All they would do is just spam this move whenever they got to it. And it was just so annoying to deal with, especially in lag. That's going straight into D tier. I hate that super. All right, uh, Goat Waifu. Okay, I thought for a second I was going to kill him with a normal attack. So she does like a Buster Wolf that makes a goat, that makes sheep come out. And just massacres him with hundreds and hundreds of sheep. And then you get, obviously, a very cultured end pose here. Uh, I think this is actually not great. I think this one's actually not fantastic. Uh, better than low wings, but still, no, C tier. It's a C tier. Uh, it's, it's just, not a lot happens. Some of these other ones we're going to see, there's just a ton of, like, animation to them. Well, that was just send some sheep out, and then zoom in on some, uh, giant sheep, we'll call them. Okay, let's do Ladivas. So, so Ladivas the command grab character, and they get this insane... Yeah, this is, this is S tier. This is absolutely S tier. Just the wrestling countdown is great. And then of course you get the outro pose. Yeah, dude, that's gotta be S tier. And that's, you get a different face on every single character from that one that you do it against, which is a nice little bit of extra detail that elevates it. And it's just so damn entertaining, S tier. Vasaraga, let's do it. So this is a character that when I first played the game, I was going to main him because he reminded me of Nightmare for Soul Calibur. In fact, Grand Blue in a lot of ways reminds me of Soul Calibur. Also, this was insane. That was nuts. I won't die so easily. Is that another S tier? I think that might be an S tier. That was nuts, dude. 
We got the claw animation, the explosion. You know, I don't think it's S tier, but it is A tier and above Zeta for sure. Okay, Eustace is another character that came out well after I was done playing. So let's see what his is. Animation, okay. What do we got, Eustace? Okay, the big ass sky beam. That was basically a Pikachu Thunderbolt, dude. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I liked that a lot. I don't know if that's A tier though. I think it's B tier. This is another character who was added well after I was done playing, so I don't know what the hell he does. We're gonna find out. We're gonna blaster, okay. A big blaster. And then he's doing some kind of like... And then he just like destroyed the world. Got it. I think she's very dead. I think that was okay. I think that was okay. That's missing a little something in the oomph department. That's a C tier. This is another character that was added well after I was done playing, so he's basically new to me. What's he gonna do? Okay, hold up. Hold up. This guy's going full Wolverine on him. Dude, that was kinda nuts. The outro pose has to seal it as an S tier, otherwise it's A. A tier. Okay, this is a character I may want to try out. That was pretty damn cool. A tier behind Zeta, I think. Okay, Lancelot is one I'm intimately familiar with because this dude was the toppest of top tiers for a while when I was playing this game. So we saw this one all the time. Freezing. It's one of the most simple ones in the game. It's good, it's fine, but it's definitely one of the most basic ones. Uh, this outro animation is a little better. But that's gotta be a C tier, for sure it's gotta be a C tier. Alright, Siegfried, new character to the game. I've seen this animation from the beta. It's pretty cool, I would have preferred he went into some kind of rage mode and just massacred him though. It almost loses points for Siegfried being a gentleman. But he's still a pretty badass character. Uh, I'm gonna put that in B tier. Still here for now. I'm gonna put that in B tier. Once again, reminding you of Soul Calibur because we have a Siegfried and a Nightmare look-alike. Zoe is a character I actually used a lot of back in the base game, so I think I remember this. She has some dragon stuff, right? All right, the dragon's go. Oh, wait, this one's actually sick. Hold up. Okay, hold up. I remembered it as it was happening. This is one of the better ones. She makes the badass, like, light sword of dragon badassness. And we get a sick outro pose. Yo, Zoe's sick. So Zoe, I'm, I'm giving it to her. I really like Zoe's. That's an S tier right there, right there with Lediva. Ah, Narmaya, my old main. I still love this character. She's so cool, but also has a very good design, we'll call it. I really like this character a lot. Like gameplay wise, looks wise, she's awesome. Let's do it. And I believe her super is like a certified S tier, like incoming. Yeah, I like hers a lot. Maybe not an S tier, but definitely A tier. And then, of course, we get the nice outro pose. Probably the sickest outro pose in the game. It's interesting, because Normaya looks like that, and then it's like the biggest badass in this entire game, dude. Uh, we're going to put her top of A tier, because I really like Normaya, and the outro pose adds so much to it. I almost want to put her in S, but the actual super itself is a little basic compared to the other two S tiers, but it might still be up there. The outro pose adds a lot. I'm doing it, I'll have Normaya, S tier. <laughs> Personal bias, sure, whatever. Let's do Grand, Mr. Main Character, let's do it. I think his is actually, yeah, his is bad, he summons Bahamut, dude. He's just a Final Fantasy summoner. Like, it's actually sick. Also, the fantastic face on um on Anila as uh, she was about to get blasted. Uh Gran is getting A tier. Easy A tier. Top of A tier actually. It's really good. So Gita's I remember being similar to Gran's, right? Because they're both main character person. Hers is with the uppercut though. Um it's basically Gran's from a different perspective, but arguably better. It's literally grands, but better. It's literally grands, but better. So by that logic, boom, right there. Okay, I remember Charlotta being the bane of my existence when I did play this game online. Hopefully they nerfed her. It's been a while. Uh, okay, she has the, the Fate Excalibur. Literally just Saber's Excalibur from Fate is, is what she has. 
That's it. C tier. Right there. All right, Fairy is another character I remember despising. Let's see what hers does. I don't remember this at all. It's been a long time since I really played this game, to be honest with you. Like, most of these are basically brand... Oh, that's right, she shoots the dog missiles at him. And then just one big badass. That's actually pretty damn good. That's actually pretty damn good. And then she gets Doggo back. She gets her Doggo ghost friends back. Uh, Fairy is actually great. This character was my nightmare but relatively high in A tier, despite being a nightmare from uh, from the previous game. Another brand new character, I have no idea what he does. This guy gives massive I am an asshole energy though. Let's see what his super looks like. All right, he's, uh, he's I think the newest character. He's the most recent edition, so his should be sick. Uh, not bad. This kind of throws a rose at him and then tornado. That's not what he what? said. Uh, not a D tier. Better than you, better than you, better than you, not better than you. Right there. Yeah, so Matera was a very popular character in the base game, so I saw this super many, many times. Uh, let's do it. Thanks, Don't kill, please. Okay, good. I thought I was gonna kill him. Um, one of the better ones. Oh, then the outro pose is just dangerous for YouTube. People are gonna be like, put it in S tier for the outro pose, but I'm a little more cultured than that. Top of A tier. I feel like I remember Catalina's, but I actually don't. So let's do it. Yeah, she kind of just double teams with the boy. And it's like a cross slash. Pretty damn badass, actually. I think that might actually be another A tier. Depends on the outro pose. Good hero shot. Good hero shot. Ah, uh, that's gotta be an A tier. Um, behind Zeta. Okay, so I know Vera's actually changes depending on if she's Vera or Grand Vera. So we're gonna do both. Also, this is a character I really wanted to play, but she came out way too late. So I may be maining her in Rising. But let's do this version of it. Yeah, so she has two different ones depending on what mode she's in. She has two stand. Oh my god! Dude! That was insane! Yeah, this character is still sick. Like, dude. Alright, this time, normal Vera. And normal Vera ain't too normal, by the way. Okay, I think she objectively has two S tiers. So, that makes her an S tier in both ways. Uh, the other win pose is way better though. Veer's going straight in S tier. I think at the top, because she has two banger ones. They're both awesome. Okay, UL is a character that, I think she's the last character I actually played before I finally stopped playing the game. Before the online was too much for me. So, I think hers was kind of cool. No idea who this other lady is. All right, just kind of trapped her in the moon and that was it, huh? That wasn't fantastic. Uh, maybe the end pose can do a little more. No, that was... No. Um, that's actually, I think, D tier. Nothing is going to be worse than these guys, though. So that's it. It's not as bad as low end. So D tier, but not quite low end D tier. Okay, so I remember right. Soros has like an install. And then he has another super on top of it. So I have to install and then do the next one, right? He has the, um, the diaper install, bro. Just basically a big-ass Falcon Punch. But it, one of the most satisfying punch animations in a game. Soros is like a Chad, though. Definitely a Chad. Even though he sounds just like Hercule from Dragon Ball. Top of B tier. That's where Soros be going. And Nier is, I think, the newest character in the game, so I don't know a damn thing about what she... Okay, it's a parry. All I now know is if the combo into her super for it to actually work without parrying. So she's like crazy chick hanging out with a literal death persona. And then death offers up like, you know, she's like, it ain't that depressing, bro. I don't even know if I could explain what just happened. I feel like I literally need to see again to understand what happened. Hold on. Okay, one more time. What exactly happens? So we don't even see. There's a couple slicey slices and that's it, huh? 
That would have been even more boring without the end screen. The end screen is kind of a little bit more interesting, a little bit more animated. I think that's actually bad. Like, I think that is actually bad. All right, Belial's, I remember being sick. I used the hell out of this character. He is a ton of fun. Let's do it. I remember his being pretty damn solid. So it blasts him. And then I thought we got a better end screen than that. And he just steps on you. I'm sick of this existence. The face on this man. B tier. They've been thinking of, of Demon Belial. Uh, not above you, not above you. Actually above you. Right there. I also used a lot of Beelzebub, mainly because I like his theme. Like, I, I like the song, so I use the character a lot. But his super... If I remember right, he kind of just like... He kind of just throws a spirit bomb at him, right? Okay, yeah, he basically does the Frieza thing. Blasts him. Really nice explosion. I don't think I've ever actually seen the end screen with it, though. Maybe I have. I have seen the end screen, yeah. Yeah, so Beelzebub, I'm putting him kind of right there with his with his bud. Um, it's fine. I like... I just like the good explosion. Okay, so I feel like I remember Avatar Belial's, but I also don't at all, so we're gonna find out together. Yeah, you're just gonna blast him, right? Oh, it's kind of like Dormammu's in um, Marvel vs. Capcom. Very similar. How's the end pose? End pose will be what really decides it here. Okay, not bad. I think that's probably like a C tier. Very, very, very top of C tier, I think. But all right, guys, that is every Super in Grand Blue versus Rising. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more content on this game in the comments below. Let me know which Super was your favorite. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, everybody.